Hello everyone, welcome back to Johnny's NASAC YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to continue introducing the free web hosting site ByteHost. My previous video already shows you how to create a WordPress website in 5 minutes using ByteHost. Now, this video is going to show you some advanced features, such as how to generate CSR and get your free SSL certificate for your subdomain. How to submit the CSR to Zero SSL to get a free certificate. And how to get your own domain and associate with your website. Also enable HTTPS to access to it. So all those are very useful information if you are working on your website and using your own domain. Don't leave, just keep watching. Now we are going to show you this lab step by step. After you log into Vista panel, you should be able to see my previous result. I had a couple of subdomains created. For example, I'm going to use in this one netsec.iblogger.org as an example to show you the process how to apply our SSL certificate. At this moment, HTTP works fine, but HTTPS won't work because there's no certificate. It's not able to provide a secure connection. So once you have website up and running, they are running on HTTP for HTTPS, then you will need to get a certificate. To get the SSL certificate, you can scroll down to security section, which has SSL TLS features here. Once you log in, you will find out the one you're gonna apply certificate. So you're gonna do configure, click this button. By default, it's supposed to be empty, um, but we need to generate uh, CSR, generate key, private key CSR, and then submit CSR to our uh, Zero SSL certificate provider to sign for it. Then we will get a certificate. We will copy it back into the certificate. So that's all steps we need to do. First step, generate key and the CSR. So make sure you choose your United States and you can put any information here. Once you generate the key, you should be able to see the private key and the CSR. CSR is the one we needed, so just copy it out and we'll go to our next step. For our step two, um, we need to copy the CSR as we did in previous step. Then we need to go to the Zero SSL list certificate provider. You can use your email address to register free account. Free account will get you three 90 day certificates. Um, for me, I already used the one, so this will be the second one. So we're going to enter the domain. Next step. For validity going to be 90 days, um, we are using free accounts, so only support 90 days. It should be enough. You can have auto-generate CSR, but since we already have existing CSR, we can just paste it in. Make sure that your certificate request. Next step. So we are using free. As mentioned, we're going to have three 90-day certificates. This is going to be tricky part, email verification or DNS verification or HTTP file upload verification. So usually CNAME verification is much easier to do. Um, I always use this one and also since it has supported as well. So only thing you need to you need to copy the name. Don't copy your subdomain. Just copy the name and go back to your Vista panel. Go to CNAME record. 
depending on your previous setup. So I already have one setup before. So this time we're gonna use uh, nasdaqiblock.org. So we're gonna copy this in. And the destination will be that point two. Just copy the whole thing. And then click add. Okay, next step. Now we can verify this domain. Right away, we got a congratulations. So our domain has been verified. In one or two minutes, the certificate is gonna be issued by Zero SSL. And also we can download certificate. Download this certificate, open it, then you will see the certificate.crt file. Just view file. Copy everything. Paste back into the SSL certificate section. That's a certificate we need to put in. Upload certificate. So now our website nasdaq.iblogger.org has certificate. We're gonna test it. So we have HTTP side up and running. And the, our previous testing HTTPS doesn't work. To get it working, there's uh, some small settings we need to change. We need to enable HTTPS for this website. So there's some um, two things we can do. We can log in. We can change the settings. You can put HTTPS here. Save changes. Right away you see we got this. So now let's try HTTPS again. So in this way we can have nice HTTPS website with valid certificate certificate is valid. Without that, you will get some warning message on your URL connections from your browser. Before the end of uh, this video, um, I'm going to show you one last thing is um, using your own domain. So basically, you go to add-on domains section here. Um, trying to put your own domain in. So previously I already did this one, 52xjj.eu.org, which I got it from eu.org. Um, you can get free domains from eu.org to use for testing purpose. Uh, if you don't know how, just watch my list video here, then you should be able to see the all the steps, how to get them free eu.org domain which you can add into your blog and also those free hosting website as i did here so add here also of course you need to change your name server to point to ns1.by.org just like what i did here change those settings once you did those steps you can use um Softaculous apps installer to install a WordPress for your domain website. Once you have WordPress blog up and running, you can do same step, apply SSL TLS for this website. So right now it's empty, you just need to generate the key, CSR, 
and then I'm get your certificate from zero SSL as I show in previous steps it's pretty straightforward same process then you can have your own domain up and running on HTTPS very straightforward but it will be very helpful for you to practice your web hosting skills there's one thing I like to point out is the certificate is only valid for 90 days as you can see the issued on Sunday November 6 but expires on February 5th 90 days every 90 day you need to manually renew it from your SSL certificate provider get a new certificate and put into your SSL TLS configuration in the cPanel if you forgot to do that then this will become invalid and give you warning and this lock icon will become different but there's always a way to resolve it maybe not from byte host you may be able to find out another one if you do need to know is there another one or not to providing this renewing certificate for you this kind of service just keep watching my next video and subscribe my channel to get a notification I will show you another provider which have a renew certificate this feature and you can use it as free as by the host so that's all for today thank you for watching give me a thumb up if you found any useful information subscribe my channel to support me see you in my next episode